Hey guys, so today I thought we could work on this little terrarium or yeah terrarium <laughs> that was so bad. So it's um bug biting plants, um carnivorous plants, and there are actually two in here. Um doo -doo -doo, where this thing would focus. No senor. They can be just zoom it up, yep. Oh, wrong side. Unless you guys can read that, go ahead. Okay. So on to the other side, we have a pitcher plant and we have some Venus fly traps, which should be very cool. And it comes in this little kit. I got it for um, $10. $10. And do they come down here? Yeah, inside is a dormant Venus fly trap and pitcher plant. Easy to follow instructions, um, a special soil mixture, and sphagnum moss. So, let's get this little guy open. So I just opened it up, and there's an empty container. And we have the instructions right here, guys. Um, so as you can see, it tells you what parts to look for, um, like which part is the top part, which part is the bottom part of the Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant and it came with this giant bag which I'm assuming is a special soil mixture um here's the sphagnum moss and then here is okay so I don't know if this is a special soil mixture or if this little guy right here is gonna have both like the pitcher plant and the Venus flytrap so we're gonna have to open okay so we're gonna have to open them up and find out um, and then here's the container, and I think um, the three and a half at the bottom is the size for any of y'all that wanted to know the size of the container. Um, we're just gonna get them started in here and then um, see if they make it out or not. Who knows? Um, last time I tried going, uh, growing Venus fly traps, it ended up so well. I think they died. They died. What am I saying? They died. Um, so here's the instructions give you guys a quick overview. I mean, it doesn't look that hard, and tells you pick there's pictures and then it gives you like some little information about the species of of like the Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant. So the pitcher plant uses the pitfall method and the Venus flytrap uses the steel trap method. So we'll have to have videos separately on both of those types of plants describing their methods and some cool video shots if these guys make it. Um, I'm gonna keep them outside because uh, I know that there's a lot of bugs in one certain area outside of my backyard So they're gonna stay there and hope they get some good lunch So um, let me go get some of the water and stuff and I'll be right back So I just emptied out this bag of moss into this little Lego cup and it um, the second step was to soak the sphagnum moss in water. So we're gonna fill this little guy up with water and the first step is for the soil. So we're gonna empty this out first and see if it does contain the pitcher plant and the Venus flytrap to make sure that this is our soil. So in the um, instructions, it doesn't really say, it just says soak the sphagnum moss. So this little guy is, he's just filled up in water right now. It's not that much, but it doesn't really specify for how long or stuff, so um, put that to the side, and now we have our little soil mixture. So I just emptied out the um, soil mixture, and it ended up being insanely fluffy. So we patted it down a bit, um, not too much, so we could have that one four, um, one fourth of an inch height after we put the sphagnum moss in. So we're gonna open up this guy and look at the picture in Venus flytrap. But um, hold up. Um, currently we are on number three. Place the wet sphagnum moss on top of the soil mixer. So I guess we're gonna do that. And hello sphagnum moss. And are you really in there? He's a little, um, he's not a little bit of wet. What am I saying? He's a lot of wet. Ta-da! It's actually starting, it looks really professional. I'm not gonna lie. Can you... Hence, is that sarcasm? <laughs> if I didn't mean it, um, I don't know if. I, yeah, I think we're gonna pat it down a bit for the um, one fourth of an inch from the top for watering. I believe that's what it said. And then um, we have some little extra bits in the water. So, ah, sphagnum moss, little cup. Very cute. Very professional. Like. And very scientist-like, or better to study specimens. By that, I mean two different species of carnivorous plants. Okay. Hey guys, so we're about to unveil the cool little specimen in here. 
but looking to the camera is a lot harder than it looks. So we have one right here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's actually going to be both of them put together. So I guess here they are both together. Cute, very. Let's get some moments right there. Oh, okay. Camera's not about the moments. Look how cute they are. I'm not sure what you can do. Differentiate is that the word I believe. Um, hold up. If we can slide, yeah. I just okay. So I just pulled them apart. So then this is a whole different species. So let's. I think this is a Venus flytrap. Correct me if I'm wrong. I've only had one Venus flytrap ever, so I do need the correction. Um, so let's look at the instructions. Um, let us see, what number are we on? We are on four. Leave enough space for watering approximately one-fourth of an inch from the top. So, as you can see, we did pat down, um, quite a bit. So I tried to leave that one-fourth of an inch. And then, um, number five. Two, 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 focus, Mr. Camera. Plant a dormant Venus flytrap and pitcher plant, um, roots pointing down and point of growth at the surface, and this picture is applied up here. And... Press the dormant plant firmly into the sphagnum moss. Add one fourth of a cup of untreated water and put terrarium top in place. Put terrarium top in place. Is there a top? Is there supposed to be a top? I didn't get a top. Guys, I didn't get a top. Oh my god, we messed everything up. Well, a little terrarium. This should be fun making you a top. <laughs> Damn it. Get a top. Okay, so um, well, I find a method to use this plastic thing as a top. I think you think that'll work. I think that'll actually. What do you know? We have our top, guys. But we're actually gonna put this guy outside. And it says, um, remove terrarium top for direct sun. So if it's gonna be in direct sun, I can remove it. Okay, so uh, you guys didn't read that at all. Um. Two, 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 two. Okay, add one. Okay, and then a dormant plant should show new growth in four to eight weeks. So I guess you guys will be getting an update in four to eight weeks. So let me just get this guy planted in, and then I'll be right back. Sorry, because I don't have a um. What do you call those little thingies? Um. Oh, sweet Jesus! Why well, come up with the name? I'll be back. So I thought I would show you what I'm doing, and so since it says plant firmly into the thing, I'm just poking a hole into this bag of moss and it's this little guy with focus I'm just I'm poking a hole with my finger here um, it, you just kind of tear it away if that makes kind of sense since it is bag of moss it's kind of stuck together from the container and then I'm taking my little plant dude hello little child and then just plop right in there and because it says place firmly as you guys may know some gentle things may not always need the most caring um, what was I going with this where was I going with this uh, some of the most gentle things are actually more hardy than you may imagine. <laughs> That's where I was going with that. Don't quote me ever. No, he doesn't want to focus. Ah, there you go. So, and then I'm just putting some sphagnum moss around him. And I can already tell that the sphagnum moss is getting kind of dry. He's still more, he's still wet, so. But he's just, this kind of side's kind of dry, so. And then I'm patting down for that one fourth of an inch just around and then a couple times in the center around these little kids, kidlets, babies, tiny little babies. God, I'm weird. Okay, so we're patting down around and then here you guys go, my very professional terrarium, whereas I am missing a top as instructed in here. Focus. Remove terrarium top for direct sun. Um, I will get back to you guys if I figure out what the top is or if it's just a plastic thing. So, so I saw nothing of the um, terrarium top. And okay, so we're gonna go on to the next step, which is get one fourth cup of water, and then we're going to water this little guy. Let's just water him all around. Pew 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 pew. Let's make sure we get every little crook and cranny, and especially the plants. Tadam! One fourth cup of water. And so, ta da! We have finished our miniature um, terrarium. It's called the terrarium set. And, um, two, 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 two. 
It says it can a package containing a dormant Venus. So is this what dormant is? I'm not sure. Isn't like dormant like little not above but just let's just reference above. Kind of like just down, not growing yet. But these guys seem to be doing good. So this guy's actually gonna go outside in my little um, corner of magical wonders that I have not started growing anything yet but tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up some seeds I have already picked up the soil I have the pots and everything ready so get ready for some gardening video guys where you guys come along and we start growing you beautiful shit that was a bad word <laughs> that was a bad what am I saying okay so we have finished our little terrarium set and I guess I'll show you guys the spot where I'm gonna go put him so let's get back to that Okay, so my dumb self just realized that these little guys have not gathered the methods for nutrition gathering. That sounded very professional. Okay, so these guys are actually going to stay in my room and I just used their little plastic casing as a type of container. Um, or top. So, because it did not offer one. So these guys are going to stay nice and humid and I guess I'll spray them daily to stay moisturized. <laughs> Yes, they need moisture. They need lotion, guys. No, they do not. But these guys are just going to stay somewhere on my messy, cluttered desk. Yes. Gosh, okay. So they're going to stay somewhere on there. And, um, so yeah. Um, ta-da. The finished product, guys. This should be the thumbnail. It really should. That's that's probably going to be the thumbnail. Um, so yeah, so until these guys gather, um, hold up. So I think that actually that this one over here, if it would like um, to, there we go. I think this one is actually the Venus flytrap and that one's the picture. Like I said before, <sighs> oh my god, the breathing in this video. Okay, no, I'm not really tired, guys, but um, like I said before, I think that this one is actually going to be the Venus flytrap because... I remember when I first had Venus flytraps, they had like this little hook kind of thing, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so they're going to stay up here and gather up some light. This looks like a Tumblr picture.